what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On God, I hit him four times. Those are the words of a man who was on social media live as he was riding in a car. Apparently after he had shot a man. What's interesting is he's bragging, he's bragging, he's bragging, and he's checking his views, checking his likes. You know, he's driving and he steady looking, looking, looking at the phone. He hears some sirens and he tells the passenger, I'm gonna get out here and run if that's the police, if they turn around. The police actually pass him up. He see the police pass by and he said, if you turn around, I'm gonna get out and run. Sure enough, police turn around, he get out and run. And then he, uh, he, he runs for a very short time. He's a big dude, didn't get far. He surrenders, puts his hands up. Police run up on him, gun drawn. He's like, man, what I do, what I do? The officer tells him, get on the ground, we'll figure it out later. Officer put the cuffs on him. This fool said, I ain't do nothing. Right after he went live on social media and implemented himself, and an apparent, at least attempted murder. Could be murder, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure how long this video has been out, but I wanted to talk about it because I was just on IG Live with Gilly the Kid and we were talking about the exact same thing. Talking about how dudes will dry snitch on themselves for a moment of fame. What happened to committing a crime and trying to get away with it? Now, I wouldn't advise you to commit a crime, but if you are going to commit a crime, isn't the idea to get away? Who wants to just go to jail for a gang of years? Who wanna to have to pay for lawyers and deal with the stress of the courts and the judgment? I do not understand this phenomenon for the life of me. Now I know when I was coming up, we had a bunch of dummies out there also, but I just cannot imagine myself ever being that dumb. Well, I will report myself. I will be the eyewitness to my own crime. Go on social media and say, yeah, I did it. And then when the police catch me, I say, I ain't did nothing. Why are you messing with me? Can't you see her, his, his, his mama pulling out photos after he get down? My baby ain't never did nothing. Pulling out his little fourth grade photos. My baby ain't never did nothing to nobody. He was a good boy. A good boy who just put four inside of another human being, let him tell it. I don't understand it, family. Perhaps you can help me out. I do not understand how people could rob a bank and get on social media and show the money off and throw the money in there. There was one guy who worked at a bank. He was stealing money from the bank and depositing it, depositing the money in his account at the bank through the ATM. And getting on social media and flashing the money from the bank. A bank employed flashing hundreds. You already know that something is wrong with that picture. I don't understand the phenomenon 
of self snitching. People filming themselves going into supermarkets, opening fruit drinks and drinking and then putting the top back on, licking ice cream. I don't get it. Filming themselves just to be relevant for a moment. Why would you put yourself through all of that? And here's the deal. At the end of the day, people are not laughing with you. They're laughing at you. You go out there, even if you squeeze that trigger, you think you're doing something hard. You're getting some stripes. Your ass going to be sitting in that prison and that cell all by yourself. The people that's saying, yeah, man, that nigga, that real, he a real one. The people that's rooting you home, that's laughing and enjoying your train wreck, none of them are going to send you any money for stamps, envelopes, they're not going to write you any letters. They're not going to put any money on your books. They're not going to come visit you. They're not going to make sure your baby got something. Uh, they're not going to make sure that your mama or your girl is taken care of. They are going to sit back and laugh at your ass. That is what they're going to do. Meanwhile, you done blew your time, blew your life depending on how heavy the crime was. But even if it's a misdemeanor, you're the only one going to court and having to pay lawyers, pay court fines, spend time stressing out, paying for parking fees, and going through all of this unnecessary drama just because he wanted to be famous for a moment because you're only going to be famous for a moment, just a moment. The moment will be fleeting. It's only a moment. Then you're going to have to go out and do something else stupid because you don't have the patience to do something productive to go viral. Now, doing something productive, you know, takes a little bit more thought because there's a lot of competition out there. You can do something stupid and go viral just like that. Anything dumb, you're going to go viral. Yeah, you go viral. But what's the consequences? Doing something productive to go viral takes a little bit more thought, a little bit more effort. But the benefits are great. You don't have to watch your back. You ain't got to worry about going to jail, eating jailhouse food, having visitors, dealing with visitors, and bending over butt naked, spreading your cheeks, another man licking up your crack. You ain't got to deal with being in jail, possibly when a loved one dies and you can't go to the funeral. They get sick. You can't rush in there to see them before they go, before they pass. You can't watch your babies grow up. Or you do watch them grow up, but you're missing major uh, milestones in their lives. Come on, man. Got to be smarter than that. If you're going to do something, family, just so I don't have to make another video like this, please do not film it. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?